Funeral service for newly elected ANC Youth League Nakamodiri Mulema Treasurer Dikaro Pule has been held in his hometown Kunwana in the northwest. 30 year old Pule passed away in a car crash in the early hours of Sunday morning after leaving the Youth Wings General Council in Zirast. Newsroom Africa's Rafile Suboku uh, joins us now from where this funeral is taking place. Rafile, how has uh, Pule been remembered there? Well, Pule has been remembered with the many roles that he has held, not just uh, as the former president of the SR3, SRC, rather, the Northwest University. Remember that the 2018 feast must fall when the leader of that protest, Mkabod Lamini, was leading that protest on the other side of the Northwest, from the Northwest uh, University, Dikaho uh, uh, was leading that moment. And I'm joined by Mkabod Lamini to tell us about, you know, um, when, when ever since the passing, even before, uh, as people are remembering Dikaho, they are saying it's the Nkabo of the Northwest Province. But when you look at issues of, you know, the, the, the feast must fall, what the purpose was all about, you know, and also your engagement with him, tell us more about that. Well, uh, I think uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, firstly, it's very painful uh, to lose a young person. And uh, uh, Pule was not just an ordinary person. I think the numbers which are here, and uh, ever since the news uh, came out that uh, he has passed away, the reaction, the atmosphere in the country and amongst young people from across the country, not just from Ma 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 Mafikeng and uh, uh, where he comes from. So it, it shows that he was a rap read. How did I meet Pula? I think um, I met him before uh, Christmas fall, actually, because I was already... Uh, leading at at the time. He became president when I was no longer president. I was president in 2014. So I think there is, it was, it's a matter of just liking someone that you have never met. Because he sent me an inbox and said, hey, leader, hey, what, what, what. Then I responded to the inbox. Then we started engaging. Then started asking books. Uh, what books can I read to, you know, to think like you? Definitely you give him black consciousness, pan-Africanism. Now, he then became a cut-up of the rest because remember that leadership is a calling and a leader is born. The books just sharpen what is already there. The books sharp, it's like polishing a diamond. You can't make a stone a diamond, but you can only polish a diamond. So the, the, going to university, there are a lot of fools who went to university. So going to university doesn't make you to be cut up of the rest. We have a lot of professors who know nothing. We have a lot of people who went to school who don't even know what humanity is. So humanity, you are born with it. But a leader and a student leader, you are being shaped by the, by, by the circumstances in which you come from. Looking at, the, looking at the community where he comes from, automatically he was bound to be successful because the pain and poverty and suffering shapes character. Where you come from being raised by a grandmother, having lost a mother at a young age. So the only way to break the chain of poverty was to pass and go to Mafike. So I think a lot of young people, that's why the, 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 the protests at the time were successful, because the pain and suffering, everyone could relate to it. Whether you at Univen, whether you were at, here at the uh, 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 University of Northwest, whether you at Fort Hare, the pain was the same. We were speaking in one language. And remember, Fismas Fall didn't have leaders. We always said it is leaderless, because we didn't want people to be targeted. And remember that... We, the reason why we said it, it, doesn't, it is leaderless, it was because we belonged to political parties. Then we didn't want it to be politicized. We wanted to unite the students. We didn't want the difference between the EFF, the PASMA, and DASO, and the PYA, because it was going to collapse the movement. So that's why it get, we then it, it, it just developed its own name. But there are a lot of analyses which are very wrong, which then means we need to, to, to issue a political a, 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 a school on our own young people to understand what 1976 was and why 1976 and 2015 and 2016 are almost related. It is young people who pick 
lift up arms because they felt that they couldn't breathe and they were not re rejecting the political parties where they come from. I want to ask, um, I'm, I'm hearing a comment just behind to say the student movement, it is being politicized. You are talking about one of the misconceptions yeah. or the narratives that are there. Well, uh, there are a lot of uh, student formations at universities and they are all politically affiliated. You have DASO, it's affiliated to the, to the DA. You have PASMA, it's associated to the PAC. Then you have the PYA, which is SASCO, ANC, Youth League, and YCL. It is associated with the ANC. But SASCO is not ANC. SASCO is not ANC. SASCO decides to align with ANC, which means that any time they can change their policies if they want. The Youth League is ANC. It is a Youth League of the ANC. And the Youth League, you need to be a South African to be a member of the Youth League. SASCO, you are, must be a registered student in institution of higher learning. And the SASCO, through its ideology, then aligns with, the, with, the, with, with socialism, the learning nexus. Then it associates with the ANC through its liberation struggle and its history. Now, SASCO then has an obligation to say that you are no longer speaking our interest. So we feel like the relationship has broken down. They do that all the time. That's why alliances are revived. Every time when SASCO goes to its conference, it then revives its policies and position within its alliance with the, with, 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 with the ANC. And as much as the offices of SASCO are at Tuli House, SASCO is not a child of the ANC. It, is, it just aligns with it through policies and history that the ANC represent the, 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 the majority of the black people. And SASCO, in its nature, represent the poor and downtrodden. I want us to go back to 2018, the purpose of that march. What is it that it had been able to reach and what is it that is still left behind that still needs to be re-looked at? Well, uh, this must follow as a success. Uh, but a lot of the successes are being reversed. Free education was pronounced by Jacob Zuma. Remember, Fismas Fall was just an umbrella. It spoke about decolonization. It spoke about quality education. It spoke about the education itself being free. It then spoke about accommodation, in that you can separate teaching and learning and accommodation. Because when you register at UCT, where are you going to stay? In the sky when you are studying there, then how do you separate accommodation and teaching and learning? That's what we were talking about. We were then saying we have a, a problem with a lot of educated blacks who are now assimilating whiteness because from first year you are taught by a white man all the way to PhD. Then we said that we need more black lecturers so that when I see a black lecturer, I see myself. If you say you come from here, you are now teaching in my in, 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 in the university there, the children here are motivated and they are inspired that one of our own is lecturing other than being, being taught by Dilare and what, what, what. That's why we think math and science is for white people because it is being taught by white professors. So that's what we were talking about. We, 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 it's, we spoke of insourcing. Do you know how many workers, security guards, cleaners who were insourced? In universities, literally all the universities in the country, they insource. We spoke also of free education for the workers themselves. Someone will say, I've worked at Northwest University for 30 years. When I retire, the only thing they give you is a cup that is written Northwest, a cup and a pencil. You leave, you go back home here to be poor here. So we said, give these people education because they clean these toilets. They clean our rooms, but they don't benefit from these universities. Do you know how many workers who would have never have, uh, graduated at university have graduated? People who were securities, people who were, who, were, who were cooking in the dining halls. We have seen them. University of Free State, here in Northwest, vets, everywhere. Now, the protests of the time were a success. But the biggest success of them all was the consciousness. The fees must fall managed to conscientize and militarize institutions. They are not the same anymore. The status quo was shaken. The establishment was disturbed and it will never recover again.
Thank you so much for your time. Mkabot Lamini, he is the leader of the 2018 FISMAS 4 protest, highlighting about um, the success of that match. What is it that's still left behind? And also uh, talking about the, a lot of other changes that still needs to happen. We are at the graveyard here in Kunwana. This is where Dikaho Pule will be laid to his final place.